God has called you to triumph over every circumstance, over every situation. And we do that through the power of Jesus and through the power of the Holy Spirit. And we are so glad that you're joining us on Hope Today. I am here with Tom. It's just the two of us today. And we're going to dive into a topic that is so important that everyone needs to understand what it does to us because there's deep down roots of this that happens in our lives. And it's <laughs> time right. for us to get unrooted from this. <laughs> well, you, you mentioned the word triumph and we all love triumph, don't, don't we? I mean, I love to go from a mountaintop to the mountaintop, but life isn't like that. And we experience trauma. Every family has, really every person has experienced some form of trauma. And you know, time alone doesn't heal. I think so often we think, well, we'll just wait, we'll wait it out, you know, oh, it's in the past. No, sometimes those things can hang on to us and drag us down from where we need to be. Well, Dr. Gregory Jantz is gonna be with us. Uh, he's been here before, one of our favorites. He's got three healing keys to trauma that we're gonna talk about, gonna be setting us free from the things that are pulling us down. You know, I'm so excited about this conversation because one thing is just walking through my own journey of trauma and going through the healing and the deliverance and the freedom. There's a lot of things that trauma is trapped in our bodies. Our minds will play these tricks on us. Sometimes we don't even realize we're walking out in these patterns or having these behaviors, but it's so amazing that when you go and you walk through it with Jesus and you have a professional, it's amazing. So I am just such a big proponent and such a big fan. I just love talking about this because I feel, Tom, there are so many many people right now that are bound by trauma, don't know about trauma, and especially in the body of Christ. We don't like to talk about it, but it's so important and you necessary know, that we do. I, I think it's so key. Wholeness is a, is a key word here, that we want to be whole. You know, there's an engineering term about soundness. That means like if, if there's a, a, a some a member in a building, it's sound. It means there's no cracks, no breaks, no, no holes in it. It's completely sound. And we want to have soundness in our own lives, yeah. uh, Sydney, that, that we don't have those things. You know, look, we've all got experiences where we say, man, I'm glad that's over, but sometimes it's not over. It isn't over and we, you, you, you know, post-traumatic stress and things like that. But Sydney, there's also just things that maybe uh, happened to us way in the past that we still have that baggage kind of trailing us along. Well, I say most of us have all some <laughs> some type of trauma. Like there's like, you know, a different scale. And I think it's important. And one thing that I've even learned on my journey of healing, that it is so important that it is a process. And that, you, you know, sometimes I think in this culture that we want microwave healing. We want everything to be instantly healed. And we just go maybe to this appointment a few times and we'll think we'll be okay. Through my own journey, my own process, I've learned it's it's been, it's taken a lot of time. But through Jesus and through therapy and through also community, there's been so much healing that I've experienced in my life. And I know it is our heart on this program. I know now more than ever here on Hope Today, we've had these conversations because we truly want you to walk in the fullness of who you're called to be and to get unstuck and unrooted from those things that are keeping you trapped, that are keeping you bound. And so that's why we're really excited that we're having this conversation today. Absolutely. Well, as we've been saying, there are many devastating events that can cause trauma in a person's life. And the aftermath of a traumatic event can cause depression, anxiety, addiction, panic attacks, some of us have been there, and more things like that, which can affect a person for years or even a lifetime. Dr. Gregory L. Jantz is our next guest, and he says that hope is possible and can be found. And in his new book, Triumph Over Trauma, he offers a unique, personalized approach for individuals to find healing and wholeness from their past hurts. Dr. Jantz, it's great to have you back with us on Hope Today. Let me ask you, let me start off by, are, is, are we, I think we're not hearing him. All right. Let's see if we can get Dr. Jantz uh, uh, queued up there again. Let me ask you again, Dr. Jantz, just uh, can you explain what trauma is for us? Maybe give us a definition, because we've said it happens to so many people, but maybe you can clarify that for us. Okay. Definition of trauma. We began to look at trauma, and it is the new word, by the way. We've come through the po post pandemic uh, issue. Okay. All right. Well, we seem to be having a, a little bit of a problem there. Sydney, you know, it's the kind of thing that um, we have seen many people come through recently that where we see that people have had to deal with this issue over and over again. 
Yeah, definitely with like trauma, it's a situation that I know can be a very touchy and a hard subject and there's a lot of symptoms that arise. And I just even want to share about my personal experience because I had to just even the past few years deal with my trauma that, you know, I've shared with many of you and just even on the show that I came through sexual abuse and I was abused three times by three different people as a child and I had to work through those things. And one thing that God spoke to me very specifically is that I needed to get an expert. I needed to get somebody to help me to walk through this and maybe I know there's a lot of you that can identify with what I've walked through being sexually abused or raped or molestation there's so many different things and what I learned Tom through that experience is going to my therapist who happened God told me to go to an expert because so I she's a she's a Christian and has yeah. helped help me walk through it um, I also had a community of people by, by my side and also the power of the Holy Spirit and let me tell you there were some really really hard moments I think one of the biggest misconceptions about going through trauma is that sometimes it's actually hard when you start walking through that healing, yeah. it can be really painful. It can be very hard. Um, there was just some really hard times where it felt worse. I was like, why am I even going through this right now? Because God was just has to pull out all those things, deal yes. with all the mindsets and the things that we're going through. And so I know for me, my personal walk with trauma, this is like one of my favorite things to just talk about because I've seen such freedom in my life, mindsets that I had, things that I was operating in. I had to go through deliverance. I mean, God had to walk me through and set me free where I look at myself now and I just see a whole new person that I think, and that's what we really, we want for you today, but it, it, it is a journey and it is a process. Absolutely, and God wants that for you today. You know, the reason we do these programs is because we know that there's healing. We know that there is truth that, that God wants to bring that healing in your life. I think we have Dr. Jantz again. Dr. Jantz, are you there? Uh, oh, hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, uh. Well, well let's, let's go back to what I asked you. What is trauma really? And wh what are we seeing, uh, it, how we see it manifest in people's lives? Yeah, yes, and let me say such an important topic that we have. We have a, and when you look at trauma, trauma can encompass a lot of things. Sometimes it's a one-time event. Other times it's multiple events. This is what Sydney, Sydney shared. As we look at tra trauma, we understand that all of us experience things in different ways. It could have been, and, and trauma is something, something that is overwhelming. It over overwhelms our physical senses. It overwhelms us emotionally. It, it's like we designed for, for that intensity of the, the trauma. You, you could have witnessed something that was very traumatic, uh, an, an accident, natural disaster. It, it could be a, a abuse. It could be sexual abuse. It could be emotional abuse. Repeated traumas in our, our life begin to shape how we see, see ourselves. It begin to shape our identity. And the, the, the fact so, that uh, I had started off by saying that time alone is not the thing, because people think that a lot of times. Well, it's way in the past. The time alone is not the healer for this. I'm alone, and here what happens. I have a traumatic event or multiple events in my life. Let's just say of abuse. As I have had these events, if, if I tuck it away, I decide I'm, I'm not going to ever talk about it. I'm not going to deal with it. it um, that actually has a way, and it's, it's, a, it's a little hard to understand that at first, but it has a way of, way of growing inside of this. That becomes, becomes a very toxic emotion. We may just discover, man, I really, just, I really, really struggle with depression, or I, I struggle having appropriate health, healthy relationships, or uh, maybe I'm struggling, struggling with addiction. In some way, in some way as a human being, we will look for a way to cope with, with trauma. What's that, what's that look like? Well, it could, it could look like action. It could, could look like a pattern of un, un relationships. So we have to look at what am I going to, to do so that I can live by God's design for, for me. You know, one of the, the truths of trauma is it does not have to be the, the predictor of my future. Trauma doesn't identify who you are. It doesn't take away from who God designed you to be. Right. You know, you right. mentioned in the book, you mentioned three healing keys. And I think it might be important for us to bring those up uh, right here in the beginning of the interview. What, what are those three keys? So one of the, key, the keys we need to look at is we look, is we look at trauma. And we're seeing more, let me just say, we are seeing uh, really a mental health uh, pandemic going on. People, people are seeking help. Trauma is a very real and a very big issue. What does that look like? 
Well, it looks looks like I gotta deal with reality. That's a healing key. I really do have to deal with this. I can't tuck it away. I can't pretend it didn't happen, but I have to deal with it. Somewhere, somewhere along uh, my healing process, I have to make a decision of forgiveness. Sometimes it's forgi forgiving an abuser. Sometimes it's forgiving ourselves. But I have to make a de decision around how am I gonna, gonna discover and integrate great forgiveness in my li life. Well, let me ask you about uh, faith and how faith in God plays into this because people will address it from a more secular point of view and, and some of that can be okay, but when, as Christians, we know that God is working in our life. So how does faith enter in? Faith is a key ingredient to our healing. You may, you may feel, um, because of trauma, you may feel that uh, shame, you may feel that there's something, something really wrong with you. You may feel, feel that there is a defective sense of who I am. You may feel because of trauma that God, God doesn't love you. And so this is why I, I, I really, healing from trauma, long-term, we'll call it sustainable healing, really we need to allow, allow an intervention of the Holy Spirit, an intervention of God in, into our life. Because some of this is so much been who we are, and we've, we've got to look at uh, faith. We've got willing to go, okay, this has happened to me, but it's not God's design. It doesn't rob who I was made to be. be. And what was intended for evil, right, can be turned around for great good. And, and that's what I leave with tra trauma. Well, let me ask you about some practical ways. I mean, you mentioned rewiring your brain in the book. How is that, how do we really do that? What are the things that contribute to us being able to rewire those things that we've kind of, those neural pathways we've felt for so long? How do we rewire that? Well, there is some very interesting brain, brain science that's uh, where we look at, and we can look at what's called a spec scan of the brain. And for somebody who's had a lot of trauma, we can, we can see areas of the brain, brain that were affected. Pretty the developing brain during uh, those years, 10, 17 uh, years old, and um, up to around 25 for many, the brain is still growing and developing. So, so a lot of trauma uh, will affect the, the brain. So here, here's what's really powerful. Uh, beginning to put the truth, the truth in the brain, beginning to practice um, uh, uh, healing gratitude, beginning, uh, there's something powerful uh, when, I, when I begin to praise and I begin to uh, uh, experience gratitude in my life. Over, over time, we watch this as one of the factors, and, and also fitness, one of the factors that begin, begins to help us, if you will, rewire parts of the brain that have been affected. God, God made us uh, we're more resilient than we ever imagined. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And unfortunately, because of the, the audio, we're going to have to cut the, the, the conversation short. But the book is called Triumph Over Trauma. Dr. Jantz, we will have to have you back again real soon, and we can go over more of this uh, but we're going to take a, a break now. Thank you so much for being with us today. And uh, uh, for our viewers, sorry about the, uh, the audio there. Sometimes things are out of our control. But we will uh, have Dr. Jantz back again sometime. But uh, we are going to take a break. When we come back, we will have a scripture and some ministry for you. I love your Cornerstone Television t-shirt. Where'd you get it? I am so glad that you asked. You know, this is an exclusive offer for the month of June for you to receive this one-of-a-kind CTVN t-shirt. You can support and sport your favorite Christian television network this summer when you go to barbecues, hanging out with family, and having tons of fun. Oh man, that is so much fun. And speaking of Cornerstone Television, I love their programming, especially that Hope Today show. Yes, we love Hope Today and all of the programs. And you know, with your best gift, request your Cornerstone Television Network t-shirt when you give this month. We have sizes from extra small to 6XL. It is 100% cotton. It is quality and we want you to have this on you today. That's right. We have one for everyone and you get to represent the station you love with your own logo t-shirt. 
you'll enjoy this wearable reminder that hope happens here as together we spread the love of Jesus every day. You know, we cannot do it without you. When you give, you help us to impact Pittsburgh and beyond, reaching those of all nations and generations because we know people need to know the hope and the love of Jesus like never before. So why don't you give us a call at 888-665-4483 and request your very own Cornerstone TV t-shirt. That's right, you can also give online at ctvn.org slash donate. We would love to see you out in public somewhere wearing this t-shirt. Maybe we'll have ours on too. Thanks for supporting us. We're so glad that you're sticking with us on Hope today. And we just want to say a big thank you. We just heard that more than half of the shirts that we had that you just saw the promo and the wow. spot for have been sold. So we just thank all of you who have been supporting Cornerstone Television Network. When you give to Cornerstone, you help us to proclaim the good news of the gospel because we now know now more than ever before that we need to be a signal of hope, a signal of healing, a signal of deliverance so people can be set free in Pittsburgh and beyond. And you know, Tom, one thing just want to talk quickly about is just, just saying like our support and our help from our viewers is because we're seeing just different ways that God is expanding the ministry through YouTube. We have more, I think it's like, I don't know if they're up to like over 60,000 subscribers, but there's right, yeah. so much is happening that when you help to give to Cornerstone. Well, you know, we just had good friends of ours on the program earlier, uh, Doug and Deb Tunney, a couple days ago. And uh, so many people on Facebook said, hey, we saw you. We, we, punched, uh, we punched up the link on YouTube. And we, so, so we're seeing so much effectiveness through those types of social media uh, platforms and we're just so thankful for you that you have uh, come alongside of us and are helping us to bring that gospel and bring that sto the stories of healing and the stories of truth and the stories of God's love to so many people. And you know, one thing, even I know we're talking about God's love and healing, it's something that I know this is shifting in a different direction, but God is dropping in my spirit right now. And if you're sticking with this, you've probably seen on the news about the, sub, the sub, submarine that's like right now, there's a desperate search missions that's going on. And I just feel like, let's just take a moment and to pray for the five people that are on there. I mean, I can't even imagine being right. 14,000 feet under the sea. We don't know what's going on, but I know it's a dire situation. So Tom, do you want to pray real quick Absolutely. for them? Yeah. Father, we we uh, ask, Lord, that you would perform a miracle and bring these people back to us, Lord. I pray, Father, that they would find them, that they would be able to bring them back up uh, to the surface, Lord, and that they would be all right, Lord. We ask for a mighty God to perform a mighty miracle today, and we ask in the name of Jesus that you would do this and glorify your name. I pray for these uh, ones to be rescued and these ones to be brought back to the surface and that they would give testimony to your miracle working power in Jesus name, amen. 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 I, I know there's power when we pray together in unity. And, you know, speaking about being like, sometimes I feel like a lot of us are, can be feel like that situation of feeling so deep within our pain, so deep within our trauma. And, you know, we just want to encourage you today. We know we had to wrap up our conversation with Dr. Jans, unfortunately because of technical difficulties, but we do want to take a moment to talk about trauma. And I just want to share with you because I know there's so many of you, I know when we're walking out, say we're in the grocery store, we're out in the park, you come up or you, see, you come to us, um, I'm asking for prayer, we love on you. And we just wanna say that we see you. We see you and it is our deepest heartfelt things to do here at Cornerstone Television Network here on Hope Today is to give you hope. And you know, I've heard recently that, you know, sometimes hardship and hope go hand in hand. And that's sometimes a hard pill to swallow. But can I tell you that as somebody who has trauma, that I was diagnosed at one time with PTSD because of what I went through as a young girl, the things that I faced that um, really kept me trapped in Bound, and I didn't even know it for years that I was living and walking in these patterns and these mindsets. And it was through the power of the Holy Spirit. It was through community. It was through getting help that God helped me to get unstuck from those things, unstuck from those mindsets, unstuck from those patterns. And I truly believe that God right now is really highlighting trauma because so many people are living in it and you're not truly living in the freedom, that you're bound by mindsets. You don't even understand it. You don't even realize it, that there's demonic oppression, that doors may have been opened when you were a young child that got in. And today is the day that God wants to set you free from that pit, Amen. you free from the darkness. 
And so we just declare and decree today, whatever you've been walking through, if you are like me and you are a survivor of sexual trauma, if you're a survivor of abuse, maybe it was emotional abuse, physical abuse, domestic abuse, we are here for you. And we just speak right now that there will be peace over your mind and that Jesus, we just pray right now that you would come into their hearts. We know, Lord God, that you are the God of the brokenhearted, that you are heal the hope and brokenhearted and you bind their wounds. And Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now that people would know you as your, def that you are your, their defender, that you are beside them, that you are walking next to them, oh God. And Lord Jesus, we just pray, Holy Spirit, that you would just sit and come into the rooms and the houses and the couches and the bedrooms and the hospital rooms of people that have been so bound by trauma, that have been so bound by pain. And Lord Jesus, we just declare and decree that this is their day of deliverance because God, you say in your word that you would sing songs of deliverance over them. And so we speak that over you today. As you were praying, Sydney, I just saw a picture of a person, your heart has been broken. Okay, and, and that's like, you say, oh, well, yeah, we all had our heart broken, puppy love and everything. No, but this is something that is a deep breaking where your heart is like in pieces and they've never been able to put it back together. You know, it's never, you've never felt like it's been back together since that heartbroken time. So God's speaking to you today that he can take every one of those pieces and he can create a new heart. He even says in the scriptures, I'll give them a new heart and a new way. So God's doing that for you right now. So trust in that. Look, the, 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 the Holy Spirit's kind of thrown our whole uh, uh, format today it, 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 uh, off to the wind here. And we're doing things on the fly as God is leading us. And that's one of the things God is leading us, that he wants you to know that he's healing your heart today. He's going to pick up every piece. There's not going to be anything missing. It's going to be sound. It's going to be solid. It's going to be whole. And so God, trust in God for you right now. And believe that God wants to do that for you. And no matter what you've been through, no matter where, what kind of everything that you've been through in the past, God says, I can heal that. You know, Tommy, you were just saying that just reminded me of something, a friend, like I was in church years ago and I was going through a really bad breakup <laughs> with a guy that I was like, uh, that's a long, whole other different story. But what I want to get to the point another, is- That's another show. That's a whole other <laughs> different show. Okay. Um, but the one thing like I remember she told me about was this, this art form called Kintsuji, when it's these yes. pottery pieces that they're intentionally broken, but there's gold and silver lacquer that puts them together to, again. And we just believe that today, that that's what God is doing to your heart, that maybe your heart has been shattered because of relationship or shattered because of a marriage or shattered because of a bad business deal or shattered because of whatever trauma, whatever is going on in your life. I just can see that the hand of God is going amongst your pottery, amongst those broken pieces, and he's putting them back together again, that he's using his finger to seal it with the Holy Spirit. So just receive that today. If that is you today and you're like, I am those broken pieces of pottery and I just feel like I don't know how I'm going to get back up again. Guess what? Just lay down your life to Jesus. Sometimes we try to take on things upon us. I know I do it. I'm the controlling of me. I was like, I want to fix everything and put everything back together. But there's sometimes that God is like, lay the broken pieces before me because I make beauty out of ashes. He restores. He rebuilds. He's a redeemer. That's the business of what he does. He's a resurrecting God, that he resurrects dead and broken things. And if that's you today, give us a call at our prayer line because we would love to pray with you. We have prayer partners that are standing by and you can give us a call at 888-665-4483. We are always here for you, no matter what you're going through. Uh, that is so good, Sydney. And I, I think that one of, just to put some practical things on this, that by all means, if you're going through a tough time or if you're struggling with trauma and things, by all means, have your friends, your, 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 uh, your close brothers and sisters in Christ, have them pray for you, by all means. Have your pastor you know, give you biblical encouragement, by all means. I never want to uh, put those down as less than, than, than they are. They're wonderful things in our lives. But sometimes we need a professional counselor to unpack what's going on inside of us. I've received professional counseling, Sydney. I know you have. Mm -hmm. I'm a great believer in it. I believe that it's time to unpack those things and not have them kind of just kind of hiding under there. Because yeah. that's what, sometimes we get it, we let them hide under there. But a professional counselor can ask the right questions to kind of lead you down the path of unpacking those things. So when you unpack it and you see it, it's like, oh, oh, yeah. oh I, I, this is why I've been uh, hurting in this area for so long. Then God says, 
I, then he rushes in. Like when we realize God rushes in to say, this is where I've been wanting to heal you all this time. Oh, yes. We are such a big, like, I'm so glad that you shared that because that has been such a big part of my life is just my therapist. Like she is a wonderful woman. And you know what? I think there's no shame in going to get help. I think a lot of times what stops us from getting help is that pride and that shame because we don't want anybody to know what we're walking through because, oh, I'm a Christian. I've been walking with the Lord and I shouldn't be dealing with these problems. No, we're all walking through issues and God has called professionals to help, to deep, to pour into your spirit, to help you get those roots and those tangled things out of you. And so we just want to encourage you, Tate, there's so many men and women that are called to do this work. As Dr. Jance even alluded and said earlier that there's a mental health pandemic that is going on and we don't want you to fall to the wayside. I know a lot of you, maybe you're dealing with suicidal thoughts or you're just not, you're feeling so hopeless in a way of escape, but we're just here to tell you today, if this is you and we believe one of you is watching today, just hold on to this truth, hold on to this word, know that Jesus is for you and he will bring people along your path. God will, he's, you know, one thing I've learned about healing is that you heal through community. You cannot heal alone. You cannot heal isolated. And part of when you get your healing is allowing people to come in and to love you and to sit with you and to cry with you and to support you and to hold your head up. There's been so many people in my life that have supported me and held me up when I felt completely broken and full of shame. But today we want you to know that we're here for you and there's a lot of people around you that God has specifically assigned to you. So just trust in him and believe in him and he will show you the way. Absolutely true. And in this last minute or so of the program, let me say if you don't know Jesus Christ, if you've never come to that place, you may know of him, you may know what we're talking about, but you've never experienced that relationship. He is dying to have that relationship with you. He is anxious. He is uh, wanting so much, longing to have that relationship with you. He uh, came to the cross for you. He loves you today. So open that door of your life. It's very simple. You just say, Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus died for my sins. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Forgive me of my sins and I will follow you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and heal me on the inside in Jesus name. When you do that, when you come to that place, you, you, he rushes in and says, I've got healing for you. I've got wholeness for you. I've got life for you. It says that life was in him and this life was the light of men. That is what God wants to do for you today. Have a wonderful day. God has great plans and purposes for you. On tomorrow's Hope Today, glorifying God and inspiring others with his gift of music. Piano artist Kim Deerdorf continues to share his uplifting music and miraculous story that shows how God wants to use our lives to fulfill his purpose and plans. That's tomorrow on Hope Today. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.